Do you struggle with finishing a record? Do you get to 80% and then just can't finish it? In this video, French producer Mid gives me five tips for finishing a track. Let's jump in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission, and today on The Big Question, I welcome French producer Mid. He's just about to release his, like, just released a new single on extremely popular Ed Banger Records, which comes out of France. Ed Banger is owned by the record label, is owned by Busy P, who basically brought Justice, Daft Punk, he's such a legendary figure, and the label, and over, you'll, you'll know the label, it's had legendary producers like Sebastian and Justice on it. Um, and now Mid has just released his new single. I asked him to join the Big Question series. If you've not seen it before, Big Question is basically a one question series where I ask artists and labels and producers and label owners and music industry aficionados to give me their answer to one big question to give you loads of knowledge and loads of tips. Today, Mid is going to answer the question on how do you finish a record? And he gives us five big tips on how he finishes tracks. So let's jump in and see what he has to say. Hello, it's Mid from France. And today we're going to talk together about my five tips to finish a song. And I know it's really, really hard to take your song from 80% or 90% to 100%. So my first tip is to compare your song with finished tracks you really love. I mean, take your Spotify, take your Apple Music, whatever, maybe your old favorite vinyl, play it and do A, B, A, B. A is your song, B is, your, is the song you love. And compare what is missing to your song. Is it changing the kick? Is it maybe changing the melodies? Is it maybe changing the whole structure? Don't hesitate, listen and be careful and take a little bit of distance and just think you are listening your song maybe in a DJ set or maybe in a playlist or maybe in, in an album and compare your song. It's working really, really well to see what is missing to your song. Number two is make a to-do list of the things you have to finish. I'm saying that because to start a song, I would say to be really, really instinctive. Play, play your favorite synthesizer, plug everything together, be creative. You need to find your ideas and to plant the seeds. When you have to finish a song, you need to be a bit more precise and 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 more more um, to do the stuff to the things little by little and to achieve stuff. And it's always good for your moral to see stuff going forward. So what I do is I, I take a sheet of paper and I write the things I have to finish. Is it like a change the kick, mix the snare? Uh, s try to find a new melody, uh, change the reverb, uh, try this, try that. And little by little, it's good for your moral and to, to stay positive in the studio to, s to see things going forward. So having a list, a finished list is always good for the moral for me. Number three is to play your song to five people you trust. Those five people, it could be your mother, it could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. It could be also a DJ friend. It, but I have my personal five trust, trust, trusted people uh, list. And uh, I know that if I play the, the song, they will take the time to listen to the song and tell me uh, what they think about it. You don't have to listen to their advices and to follow their advices, but it's always good to have those five people. If you have more than five people, it will totally like, uh, totally like blurry your mind and you will think, overthink about your song and too much advices are not that good, but five people, it's enough. So find, find those five people and it will also, it will also train you to, to, don't be afraid of of uh, play your song to some people. I mean, at some point, your song is made to live in clubs, in albums, in whatever. It, 
people have to listen to your songs. So it's good if people listen to your songs. So the first step is to find your five, the five people you trust and play the song to them. Number four is be extreme. It's not because you spent a lot of time on your song that you don't have to be extreme. Be totally extreme. Don't be too attached to small details. We don't care. We need to have a good song. So if you listen to it and you want to try to remove all the drums and to make a, or to remove the whole a cappella and make an instrumental song, it's possible. It's your song. So don't hesitate to be totally extreme. Don't be shy at this point. It will, it will be the last time you, you will be able to work on this song before you finish it. So be totally extreme. Number five, and it's really important. Don't think that mixing or mastering will finish the song for you. You are the only one who is able to finish the song. So for me, I always take my track to 100%. I'm totally happy and I'm totally like, uh, I'm totally uh, 100% happy before I send to the mixing and the mastering. And I, I tell them like, and I want them to take my track to 110, 120%. And so it will be the little uh, shiny touch to my songs. But uh, I, the mixer is a mixer, he is not a finisher, and it will not finish uh, because you don't have the, the energy enough to finish your song. So I hope those five advices were helpful and. Uh, don't hesitate to send me your advices too. I would be happy to hear it. It's always good to listen to advices because don't think because I released some songs or because your favorite artist released some songs that it's it's easy to finish it. For me, it's always a nightmare to take my tracks from 90% to 100%. It's the worst part of producing music and composing music. So if you have advices too, I would be really, really happy to, to hear it. Bye bye. It was me from France from the Middle Age Castle. Bye bye. Which one of those was your favorite? Which one of those is going to help you, to help you the most? If you found one of those was, was is your new thing that you need to do, or the thing that you've not been doing, can you comment below in the comments? I need to do this. Uh, I'd love to know which one you, you, which one of those tips you got value from. Please, if you've watched it and enjoyed it, give this video a little like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, makes the world a little sunnier place. And 80% of you have not subscribed to my channel that have watched videos. So if you've watched the video and enjoyed it, please give it a little subscribe. It's that big red button in the corner uh, that says subscribe. Consider clicking the notifications as well. That means you get the videos first. YouTube tells you when they're coming out. And it also tells you when we're going live for Boost Breakfast, which we do every morning, 7.30. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've been Graham Farmer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.